Hey everybody, Joel Nelson here with my good buddy Tony Roach and you know we're involved in the world of sonar. It's something that's become just a part of what we do because of how much we fish but maybe to the average angler or most people they might not know certain benefits of the features in here so I really wanted to turn Tony loose and fill in myself on what this means to a person fishing with the unit. So Tony, uh, have at it. If you want to pick a unit and one of the features, maybe just discuss a little bit more about it. Well, let's start with an M1, for example. What's beautiful about an M1, it's an entry level unit, but guess what? It comes with a zoom. And for me, zooms are just how I live. Uh, you know, I do a lot of walleye fishing. A lot of perch fishing, I always have that zoom screen on. When I get people that are new to ice fishing, that's the first thing I show them is how to operate that zoom. It's so important to us at Markham that even our entry level unit comes with a zoom. Right. Yeah, and zoom is so important to Markham that once you get up to the M3 and the M5, they've got something called an adjustable zoom. Now, to a lot of people, you hear these buzzwords get thrown around bottom zoom, adjustable zoom, what does this all mean? Well, Tony referenced bottom zoom as walleyes and perch zooming into the bottom six foot. Adjustable is just what you would understand it to be. It's adjustable anywhere in the water column. So if you have fish that are suspended, like crappies especially, I fish a ton in the winter, basically zooming into the zone only where they're at and ignoring the rest of the water column because hey, that's where all the activity is happening. That's of key importance when you talk about M3 and M5. but you know, all of that is important, but if you don't have a clear view and you've got interference on your screen, you have got to talk about the interference rejection, right? Yeah, and Markham has the best interference rejection on the planet. I mean, when you talk about having multiple units set up, we always talk about how social ice fishing is. Having six or seven units set up in a, a hard house like this, or just even fishing next to your buddy, you want to make sure that the units aren't talking to each other. So when we reference IR, yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about. Interference rejection. So when you're sitting next to someone, you're not getting that noise and clutter. It's the best experience of all the best. Yeah, yeah, because you're going to see your jig. If you can't, with if there's too much noise on the screen, you're not going to see your jig. And, you know, there's one feature in the M5, actually two, the super fine line gives you really crisp HD marks on your screen, that'll clear up some of the clutter, but so will sometimes narrowing down the cone. That's why there's a switchable transducer in this M5. You're able to go from a 20 degree view to something much more narrowly focused right next to your hole, and it means you're not picking up maybe your buddy's patterns, and you're not, you're not getting any of that other extraneous signal that you don't need. You're only seeing what you need to, but you know, all of this is important, but we hear the term target separation, Tony, and so, Maybe lead people through what that means to you as an anchor. So target separation is pretty simple. You know, you hear it a lot. What does it mean? It means, you know, how small can your unit write, but also what's the difference between the bottom, my jig, and a fish? How close can those things get together? So uh, what, what's great is if you drop your transducer down a hole, if there's a fish on the bottom, even if it's within a half inch separation, I can see that that's a fish and not just the bottom, okay? The other thing that gives me greater advantage over other anglers out there is the fact I can see when that fish gets right on your bait because that's really important for detecting a bite for a strike. How close is that fish? Within a half an inch, I can see that fish right up at my bait. And all those details, once you marry these technologies, once you put in the bottom zoom, the adjustable zoom, interference rejection, super fine line, target separation, that's when all these things don't become buzzwords anymore. These are actual things that help us catch more fish. And, you know, Tony talking about separating bottom from fish from bait, super important. Like with these units, we can see bluegills that will come up to these things, stop just shy, maybe flare their gills and give you that last little indication that they're going to close. And that really is what to me, and I'm sure Tony would agree, makes a Markham a Markham, right? Yeah, I mean, it's made me a better angler, I think just years and years of using these things, it just becomes second nature. But someone who's maybe brand new to the sport or you know, in that freshman class that's never used an ice unit before, it's pretty user friendly. I mean, you turn the unit on, uh, a fish is a fish, a jig's a jig, the yeah. bottom's bottom, but you'll able, you're able to see that. Uh, that's something that's pretty powerful. 
Yeah, and there you have it. Really, uh, again, there's a lot of buzzwords, there's a lot of parameters, there's a lot of specs and bullet points you can check out for all these units, but all of them together, um, working to help us catch more fish, that's what makes a Markham a Markham. That's why I'm proud to run them.